Hello, in this lesson we are going to talk about some of the illegal activities that are, are done and where cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin are used. The media may lead you to believe that all cryptocurrency or that probably doesn't say Bitcoin but they're generally talking about cryptocurrency cryptocurrency and blockchain as well based stuff is purely legal and that's just well a lie there's plenty of legal stuff but again this video is talking about the illegal side of it so one of the biggest ones use cases or I don't know what happened to my S there is silk road if you know anything about bitcoin then i'm sure you've heard of this this was a website on the dark web that basically facilitated the sale of drugs the sale of drugs using bitcoin as a means for purchasing them and various other stuff as well so other stuff that is being used for online outside of silk road is weapons most of this stuff does generally occur on the dark web simply because they can secure it using a network such as tor so it's a lot harder for authorities or anyone really to trace an individual another thing is child porn Oh, again, I just want to mention all of these things, whether it's drugs, weapons, child porn, or anything else that we're going to discuss, is done in the real world. It's done on the internet, but not on the dark web. So just the regular, either surfaceable or deep web. But it's been sort of attracted to the dark web and more specifically cryptocurrencies due to its anonymity. Obviously, I won't really go into any depth about weapons, child porn, or drugs at the end of the day. You know what they are, but it facilitated the transaction of this. Torture, and I'm not talking about torture porn or anything like that, but that as well, but just torturing of people and selling essentially the access to it, sometimes even live online, so you can watch that and transact coins. And any and in general, other illegal information and data. So whether that's illegal data regarding government secrets or illegal data regarding anyone really, if it's illegal, a lot of time people are using some sort of dark web based system to transact it to transfer it and now with the advent of cryptocurrencies people are using if they want to sell it they are using cryptocurrencies through the dark web another thing is and this is something that you can get via the dark web and you can get it without cryptocurrencies really but cryptocurrencies have really aided people that want to hire hitmen and i'm not even taking the piss here i i i mean seriously like people that want to hire hitmen you can go onto the dark web hire them and just pay them using cryptocurrencies so this all generally works around the dark web another thing is tax evasion some people might call it avoidance evasion is illegal avoidance is legal some obviously the morality of avoid of certain tax avoidance schemes and mechanisms is a debate for another day but tax evasion some people may be putting their money in cryptocurrencies to make it harder to track even though they should have paid tax on it or maybe if it's this if they're using it to sell stuff because remember as we covered in the tax and regulations video if you are a seller and you're selling stuff using cryptocurrencies let's say amazon for example the profit in that you still need to report that you still need that still needs to be taxed but maybe because it's harder to track it 
maybe they're not actually reporting it. So that's another thing. Another major one is ransom. Ransom. Again, none of this is new. It existed before cryptocurrencies, it existed before the dark web, it existed before technology, before computers, but it's just exploded as a result of this and it's provided a new way of securing the anonymity of an individual so the ransom can be anything from kidnapping so maybe some people are kidnapping a famous person or the child of a rich individual rich family and they want the what's it called the ransom in cryptocurrencies another thing is cyber attacks this is very big within cryptocurrency so if let's say you hack a company you lock all the data down and you say if you don't send us money within 24 hours or 48 hours it will delete all your data usually back in the day would have been using fiat currency but now with the advent of cryptocurrency such as bitcoin it's a lot harder to track so they are using that instead and terrorist groups are also using using cryptocurrencies and what are they using it for so they are using it for a few different things they're using it as a means of remaining anonymous regardless whether you're a terrorist group a corporation a government whoever you are you need to get stuff you need to buy stuff for your cause for whatever you're doing and using cryptocurrencies they it helps them remain anonymous when they are purchasing stuff and transferring currency and transferring assets as well over long distances over different countries as well another thing is blockchain block chain based technology such as ethereum for example is being used by terrorist groups as a means of tracking data without a central system so that again doesn't matter whether they're an illegal group or not they still have to do certain things for that group to operate so tracking certain things they need to have certain operations that you would see in a regular business as well and if they can do it via a decentralized distributor system then they can operate even longer without getting caught or being taken down in any successful effort and finally finally in general some may argue it isn't legal as it's untrackable so some people may argue that it is illegal regardless of what you're doing with it just because it's untrackable this isn't a very popular argument but i have heard individuals online and in real life say this and i think this is pretty stupid but i think it's something worth mentioning because at the end of the day you can't really track in let's say note based currency so you know physical pounds phys i mean physical coins notes unless you have some sort of system in there to track it if it's been used at a certain place but imagine if it's not being used how are you going to track that so this really isn't a major one but again i've heard it from individuals so i thought it was worth mentioning so in this video we covered the illegal activities that some people are using cryptocurrencies for again i'm not encouraging any illegal activities i thought i just put that disclaimer there if you have any questions feel free to reach out if you want to go over the video again feel free to do that to check out any of the topics and concepts that we covered and as usual thank you for watching and i look forward to seeing you in my next lesson